दिस सेंटर इज वर्किंग अंडर मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ कल्चर गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया आउट ऑफ टोटल सेवन सच जोनल सेंटर्स एस्टैब्लिश इन ऑल ओवर इंडिया दिस नागपुर कल्चरल सेंटर दैट इज साउथ सेंट्रल जोन कल्चरल सेंटर देर आर अबाउट सिक्स मेम्बर स्टेट्स अंडर द कंट्रोल ऑफ दिस जोन दोज आर महाराष्ट्र मध्य प्रदेश छत्तीसगढ़ कर्नाटक आंध्र प्रदेश एंड तेलंगाना द सेंटर इज वर्किंग फॉर द बेनिफिट एंड अपलिफ्टमेंट ऑफ द आर्टिस्ट फॉर प्रमोशन ऑफ आर्टिस्ट ऑफ ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ आर्ट फॉर्म्स एंड विथ स्पेशल एम्फेसिस ऑन फोक एंड ट्राइबल आर्ट नाउ एज पर द डायरेक्टिव ऑफ द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ कल्चर वी आर प्लैनिंग टू हैव सम डॉक्यूमेंटेशन वर्क इन द कैटेगरी ऑफ डाइंग आर्ट्स सम आर्ट्स आर नाउ सीम टू बी डाइंग दैट मीन्स दे आर नॉट द आर्टिस्ट आर नॉट अवेलेबल इन इन रिक्वायर्ड नंबर फॉर टीचिंग और फॉर गिविंग द नॉलेज टू फर्दर जनरेशन सो फॉर प्रिजर्विंग दीज दीज टाइप्स ऑफ डाइंग आर्ट्स वी आर डूइंग द डॉक्यूमेंटेशन वर्क ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ आवर सेंटर एज पर द डायरेक्टिव एंड वन सच प्रोजेक्ट वी हैव अंडरटेकन फॉर ट्रेडिशनल मास्क मेकिंग दिस सोंगी मुखवटे विच इज नोन एज सोंगी मुठ मुखवटे इन मराठी दिस टाइप ऑफ आर्ट फॉर्म वॉज डिस्प्लेड बाय द सेंटर ड्यूरिंग द रिपब्लिक डे परेड ऑन ट्वेंटी सिक्स जानेवारी ऐट राजपथ एंड द सेंट एंड द सेंटर बैक गुड रिस्पॉन्स एंड प्राइज ऑल्सो for this uh, presentation of this songi mukhote dance so it is a very happy moment and this is the project allocated allocated in maharashtra so similar type of projects we are undertaking in different uh, member states also in future but for the present we have undertaken this project in maharashtra uh, in nashik district and uh, for it will be very much helpful to, uh, for the coming generation Maharashtra the land of rich and unparalleled treasure of unique traditional arts Gauro Shahi Raja Ha Gauro Maharashtra Ha Gauro Shahi Raja Ha Gauro Maharashtra Ha Gauro Shahi Raja Ha Gauro Maharashtra Tribal arts like varli paintings military games like shabdaved or aiming at the sound a wide range of folk dances like khadi gammat lavni and a glorious legacy of musical dramas the colors and big eye catching idols dominate during the festivities be it ganesh puja or the big idols and effigies like marbets and badgeas during bel pola maharashtra never fails to surprise this is about one such surprise welcome to the eastern gods 
near Maharashtra Gujarat border. The natural scenic beauty at the Sayadri Ranges. Cool, green, mystic and yes, inviting. You witness a beautiful region of forts and temples as the winding roads encircling lakes, valleys and the lush green forests, bringing up many twists, turns and surprises. Among them is the Saptashringi hill that proudly houses the cave temple of Saptashringi Mata, one of the abodes of the Supreme Mother Goddess. And another surprise is a colorful musical tradition rooted in the tribal culture. This is Dabya Chapada, a small village in the Pet Tehsil of Maharashtra's Nashik district. A group of enthusiastic artists reenacting mythological characters, keeping alive a thousand year old folk dance form called the Songi Mukhavte Nutya. Maharashtra's traditional tribal dance wearing masks. Songi means posing as mythological characters wearing mukhote that are colorful traditional masks. So exactly how old is the traditional dance form? Shiva's cosmic dance from ancient Bharatiya culture symbolizes the art and science alike. If universe is eternal, so is dance. Researchers have established how the early humans took to dance, either to please their gods or to thank them for a successful hunt or much later for a rich harvest. With the passage of time, ways and means evolved, though the sense of recreation and spiritual gratitude remained. Songi Mukhavte, the traditional dance form, is no different. A veteran artist, Devaram Trimbak Gaikwad, points out to historical texts that record the first mention of someone having witnessed the dance performance by local tribes, similar to Songi Mukhavte Nritya, here in the region during Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj's return journey from Surat. These tribals had warrior groups that guarded and served their communities. These groups indulged in such dance forms wearing huge masks. He tells us that the roots of the Songi Mukhote Nritya in its present form could be traced back to the 12th century. However, dancing as a ritual to please the village gods can be traced to the times of Baliraja, the mythological king of the farmers, peasants and tribals. Gaikwad points out to tribal folklore which mention that King Baliraja had divided his kingdom into nine parts or khands to ensure smoother administration. Each of these were led by a Khand Pramukh like Khanderai. These were later subdivided into Subha or Subhe or Mahal like present day Tehsils. Each of these were headed by a Mahalkari or Masoba or Mamledar. They had a long tradition of Gav Pandaris or village deities like Kansari, Thanak, Masoba who they believed owned and guarded the villages and farms. For example, as per the tribal folklore, the village deity for Dabya Chapada is Yahu, a lady Yaksha. A village deity is the common deity for all the tribal communities in the village. 
that is a unifying factor for Konkana, Koli Mahadev, Warli and Katkari communities. Animals or trees that influence tribal lives are also regarded as gods like Vagdev or Lion God, Nagdev or Serpent God and Amdev or Mango God. The Sungi Mukhavti dance form appears to have evolved as a form of worship to invoke their blessings. Seniors like him link the origin of the Saptashringi temple to a story of an unknown sadhvi, a lady sadhu who was found dead in the cave with a beggar's bull during King Mohan Singh's era who had allegiance to the Devgiri king. Gaikwad explains that since a begging bowl was called a satrai in the local dialect, the hill came to be known as Saptashringi Gard. The incident led to establishment of the temple with the idol that later came to be regarded by many families as their prime deity or Kul Devta. She is represented by a special mask during the dance performances. These are mostly held during the Jatra festival in the month of Chaitra, the first month in a Hindu calendar, especially on the Chaitra Purnima, a full moon night in the month of Chaitra. Devram Gaikwad talks about the other Hindu mythological characters in the performances represented by masks, which are the Narsimha Avatar and King Hiranyakashipu. Deities like Kal Bhairav, a supernatural character Vital, his daughter Gauri, also known as Girija, and her husband Mahadev. Gauri is also represented by a sari wearing character holding on the head, a bamboo woven plate carrying wheat offshoots. Demon characters named Tarkasur or Chandrasur are also depicted by masks. Every performance depicts victory of good or truth over evil or falsehood. Earlier, masks were prepared as big and heavy as up to 40 or 50 kilo weight. King Ravana's ten-faced mask also came under this category. The average mask today weighs about 3 to 5 kilos allowing more flexibility in the dance movements. Wooden masks are no longer used. The mask making is an indigenously developed art here. 26 years old, Chabli Das Vishnu Gavli hails from a family of Songi Mukote dancers but has been making masks since 8 years. He learned the art by watching other mask making artists who were invited by the village folk. ते सुन मजे ते चा बारिक एकदम लगदा एकत्र एक जीव ते सा जाला पाए जा सब बनुन ते चा नंतर राना तुन ते ला जो ये उदाला मंतो आपन ते ची साला ना ही ची ते साली से जो चिकट पना निकतो ते चिकट पने ला अनि लग दिया ला एकत्र मिश्रण कराए जे ते चा मधे आप लीजे मेथी आस्ते मेथी ची भाजी जे आपन खातो ते ती बारीक करून अनिते उदार ऐसा पानी मजे ते चिक अनि लगदा अनि मेथी एकत्र मिश्रण करून घितले जाते त्याचा मुले चिकट पना तयार होतो अनि एक मातीचा साचा बनोला जातो त्या साचा वर्ती तो लगदा पूर्ण पने जसा आकार दे जा आपले लता सब पूर्णता मिश्रण करून त्या लग दिला बनवायत अनि मुखोटे ला आकार दे जा अ A new earthen cast takes two sunny days to dry. Materials like papers, cardboards, sawdust are used to prepare a homogeneous pulp. Specific tree barks like that of Udala tree are added to enhance stickiness. Fenugreek seeds are also grinded into a fine powder to achieve the same gum-like effect. The pulp is then carefully placed on the cast. 
other villagers also enthusiastically participate in the collective effort. In about eight days, the fresh new Mukhota or mask is ready to be first painted in white and then in other colors. This exercise is undertaken generally in the month of March that is right before the onset of a new Hindu year. There is a traditional code for colouring the masks, says Devram Gaikwad, which cannot be tampered at will. A mask for a god has to be vermilion or red in colour. Different colours are used to denote ferocious nature of Vetal. Similarly, there is a colour code for performers' attire. Bright red shirts, yellow strips and white dhotis. Add to this the wooden swords and metallic anklet belts that is Gunguru and the performers are ready. The lion gets a special outfit to add to the grace and energy. The musical instruments used are a dhol for dance beats, a cymbal a daff, two pipanis or pavaris or kalis which are blown by air with mouth, the traditional ancient musical instrument tarpa is rare to find even in tribal areas these days. It's made using bottle gourd or dudi bopla in Marathi some bamboo sticks and wax collected from honey beehives and decorated beautifully using peacock feathers. Thus, a band of five to seven artists accompanies the performance. There are no songs or singing involved in the performances. Devram Gaikwad points out that though the tribals have no formal training in singing, their traditions have many songs created using a very few non-rhyming words. These are mostly related to the act of fishing or making wine after collecting mahua from the forests. <laughs> A Kali Pipani player, Vithal Gaikwad, tells us that he used to try make plant leaves blow sound like Pipani. Later, he tried bamboo Pipani but ended up learning how to play Pipani by watching his father. The dance performances are held in various parts of Nashik district and also in Thani districts, Jawar Mukhara. An earthen lamp is lit for the worship of the village deity and the dance performances begin. Everything is traditional. The musical instruments, the beats and the dance steps, barring some alterations in rhythms and pace to suit the changing times. Mostly due to the weight of the masks, Songi Mukhote dance performance is an all-males affair and even the female characters in the dances are played by the males wearing female attire and masks. Though the women folk can be seen giving their separate performances in a dance called Tarana. Here, one finds the traditional titles as Bhovra dance, Ganpati dance, Chandrasur, Ravantati, 
पांडव मास्क हनुमंत डांस मासा और फिश डांस वेताल डांस वीरभद्र डांस काल भैरव डांस नरसिम्हा डांस मसोबा डांस भवानी डांस एंड सो ऑन अंबादास श्रावण गवली अ थर्ड जनरेशन सोंगी मुखवटे आर्टिस्ट लीड्स हिज ग्रुप ऑफ सोंगी मुखवटे परफॉर्मर्स एंड यूजली प्लेस ढोल और डांसेस ड्यूरिंग परफॉर्मेंसेस वॉकिंग बेरफुट ड्यूरिंग जत्रा इवेंट्स फॉर अ कपल आवर्स एक्साइट्स हिम मोस्ट but in cases of the formal events the timing of the performances have now greatly been reduced to just 5 or 10 minutes ambadas recalls how his father shravan and grandfather shankar wore heavy mask and energetically performed they also took active part in organizing shows across the country and big metro cities ambadas tells us that during the times a group generally consisted of 25 performers day even a strength of 15 performers is considered great he laments because the priority today is working at the farms or earning a livelihood by other means still we manage time in the evening to rehearse he maintains life is tough for the performers of the traditional yet dying art form as songi mukhavte performances are not much in demand and much less paying to earn a livelihood but since it's the glorious tradition of this region of their tribe it must survive each one of them must work to make it survive and to make the show go on He tells us about the inspiration and encouragement that he and some others like him got from the South Central Zone Cultural Center which made them actively get involved and even made them take steps like visiting schools holding demonstration sessions before the school kids and trying to invoke their curiosity The biggest occasions have been the events organized by the South Central Zone Cultural Center He gratefully recalls two such big opportunities arranged by the initiative of the center's director and officials. These were the occasions to showcase talent along with training the school children for the Republic Day parade in New Delhi in 1999 and 2016. Both the occasions brought laurels for the center and its troupe as they were hailed for putting up the dazzling show. and accorded the first prize he says those were memorable occasions when the center thoughtfully and skillfully showcased school children the future of the nation to present a thousand year old tribal dance form on the prestigious rajpath before an international audience another performer nivruti sitaram gavit was also a part of the troupe both the times and proudly narrates those moments as the best ones that broke the physical barriers and offered the age old art form from maharashtra the center stage his only concern today is that his next generation should feel inclined to participate and take the legacy forward a young performer bhagwan nivruti gavit hopes to fulfill the expectations yes The future of Songi Mukhote dance form rests on the new generation as opting for a full-time career in the dance form is considered a big risk. Veteran artist Devram Gaikwad also feels worried due to what he calls as the onslaught by the movies, the television, the internet and the spread of mobile phone usage that have had a huge effect on the new generations. He recalls the days when common unifying factors like songui mukavte dance had binded the village together. In case of someone's death, everyone in the village used to mourn for minimum 2 days. They all remained one during the times of crisis, not anymore. He suggests that songui mukavte troops can be effectively employed for promoting government schemes and propagating the awareness messages more people would be attracted to the art form 
if it helps in earning a regular livelihood. So here, among the nature's bounty, the gods bring generations and tribes together as several thousand years old colorful tribal culture picks up various shades of the immense natural grandeur and showcases them stylishly in masks, costumes, music and dance.